my fort story actually goes way back in time. I was actually a camper and also summer staff back in the 60s. God brought me here, I really believe, when I was in the middle of doing my Master's of Arts in Transformational Leadership at Bethel. It was my late 50s, and I was really thinking, all right, Lord, how can I best use the years that you're giving me for kingdom? And um, at that time, I had heard that Fort was gonna be looking for a new staff coordinator, and my heart has always been about pouring into that next generation of leaders and the staff. Um, and so I started exploring that with Tom, whether that was a possibility or not. The next big question was, are you ready to raise support? So the more I had friends and cohorts at seminary and those things praying with me, um, was really convinced that this was the route God wanted me to go. And if he was really wanting me here, he'd be the one to provide. I oversee all of the volunteers, the paid leadership staff, and I'm very involved in the recruiting and the hiring and the training process of that. But then also oversee all of the weekend volunteers that come throughout, this, throughout the rest of the year, not just summer. You know, I think one of the things that's most important is to remember is that although we're here accomplishing tasks and serving our guests who are here, and I want our staff to have a very other-centered focus, there's a lot more happening down deep inside, I think, and of a lot of the kids who are here um, that's really important. Camp is such a huge place to be creating that next generation of leaders and helping shape them and encourage the transformation that only God can do in their life. And to me, that's really what matters most. And I've seen that in camp ministry in a variety of places, whether it be in my own children's lives or others, is camp can play a significant difference in becoming the person that God really has set aside for you to be.